like if you go slow, like if you go down this thing, if you try to go slow with a low ATR, yeah, you'll kill that. But like for 1.2 and you actually just go through it, you won't hit it. You won't hit it? Yeah, no, because you are because you have ATR plus commitment. Plus your commitment, right? Yeah. You're going fast. Yeah, you're not going to hit it. Oh man, I, I don't know about this because I... What? 1.2, yeah. Look, I have this, I have the camera plus the <laughs> remote. Back, back. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Remote plus camera. Gee. Mm. Wanna go first? Yeah, I'll go first. I just hit my remote. Oh. It's gonna be nuts, huh? Nuts. Bananas. 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 I keep like forget, like thinking there's like a button here. Yeah, that's what we need, right? You ready? Alright. I love this remote. I'm gonna have to use it, you know? Don't kill drag. Hey guys, this is a downhill switchback section of this awesome 20 miles long ride. We want to test the VESC remote going downhill on this rocky switchback. Only on the fourth date. I think I'm starting to fall in love with this magic wand. It has two superpower that will blow your mind. Power number one, the ability to tilt the board forward on a gnarly downhill so you can't break. When you're going up a nasty climb, the ability to tilt the nose high so your board doesn't ram into the dirt and you get ejected. Watch my board tilt when I go over rocks. I push the nose down so I don't tail drag. Super power number two is stability. So somehow the board tails get overridden by the remote. So the nose dip doesn't seem to happen when it's been used. So far I have to say I feel much much safer riding with the remote than without. Pretty much solve one of the shortcomings of the quick terrain transition for SBS self balance and skateboard where the ATR doesn't have data to process board tail and the remote does it we also tested our mobile charging solution and it worked beautifully for this long ride check out the snap at the end of the video when the, our board is charging this really opens up for extended riding adventure now we have more options to ride. Keep the flow going. Tail drag at all coming down pretty quick speed, maybe 10 15 miles per hour coming down. Pretty amazing. Shout out, shout out, Nico Dado.
This remote is awesome. I'm not gonna ride without this remote on trails. No way. It's just, you know, control. It gives you the control that you want. You want control when you're on the off road. So, as much as you can. All right, man, check it out, check it out. We're charging. We're charging at yeah, one the point. The voltage that's on here is like the voltage of the battery, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever, the total output. That's whatever is outputting. Okay. So 1.8 amp. And we are at 69 volt right now. My battery is 75 volt. Charging at 1.7 amps or something. Plenty for me, 1.8 amps. This bike battery, pretty nuts. And then what we have here, we got the Hoya Flow, the box. I love that. That's nice. You got the nice screw. And then what do you got? 77.34. Man, you're running 3 amps. <laughs> oh man. Alright, it's not blowing up.